offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. A gain of six there on first. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Bridgewater from the gun on third down. Oh, the ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Sean Lee. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback. Going on, as a you receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the Welcome field. To Middle another portion, one. you know it's going to come in hot. Square Let's your body to the it. quarterback and be ready to make the catch. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. The give is to Elliott, and that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play, and it'll bring up a second and 13. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Tenth carry now for Elliott. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Well, they had that one snipped out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. No points left on the field. All on the board. Let's go. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, the offense, they got the ball in a great spot, but they went nowhere, forced him to take just the three. And they'll be, you know, happy taking the three. But those guys on the other side, they've got to be ecstatic. They didn't let them get anywhere. It made them kick a field goal. That almost feels like they got the advantage, doesn't it? The Saints coming out now to take the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All yeah, right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Breeze now on first down. Gen has it complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Bridgewater now on second down. This is caught by Ginn. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. 
They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. First down, Bridgewater. Eluding the pressure right. Now he'll go deep down the middle. It's caught inside the 25. That one goes for 36 yards. Uh, they've been struggling. He in caught the it in my man's hand. Like Come on, man. Don't there. cheat me. I mean, it on Don't cheat me to beat like me now. I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start nah. to press up on you. Push them deep. Man trying to buy you space out though. And open things up again. Being aggressive there I think will pay off for them. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've Won't seen that. in a bunch. I mean, we're Man Madden buying you out, boy. It's unbelievable. So their With a man, to name like Ball Hog and only score one touchdown so oh, far. That's crazy. You guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. That's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. Bridgewater again. And again's good. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. On first and 10, Bridgewater. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. Back now here live I mean, in New Orleans. Body you out, but I ain't it's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing attempt. as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Let's get it. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back second, even second. further. 21, 21. 21, 21. 20 Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And he's got his man on the out route. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They'll give him a dozen on the pitch and catch, but now they're up against a third and goal. Kill, 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 kill. Breeze now on third and goal. Flushed out right. This is caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A gain of five, but not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. To throw is Breeze. And this is going to be intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. Pass the 10 to the 11 yard line. <laughs> Go on and quit, Pimp. You like what you seen, ladies and gentlemen. You like what you seen. Remember to like and subscribe. Yeah.